Hello you people of the tube, welcome to this next video in which I am reviewing my lesson 28 and I apologise for squinting but I'm back down in the conservatory today and it is bright, it's really sunny outside, it's very warm and yeah I'm going to be squinting quite a bit in this video which I apologise for. But anyway, so this is a review of lesson 28 which was done on the 16th of September 2020 day 428 and roughly 127 hours of practice and without trying to sound repetitive yes the practice hours are down a little bit um, no real excuses for that um, other than as we're coming out of lockdown the photography business I do property photography in the evening has um, picked up quite a fair bit I've got a couple of estate agents now that I'm working with so starting work in the morning at sort of half past seven, eight o'clock, doing the day job and then working through till nine, half nine at night. As much as I want to, picking up the guitar at that time is, is just the last thing on my mind. I just really want to sleep um, and make sure I'm fresh for the next day. So there have been chunks of days that I'm missing and that is really leading to some inconsistency in my practice where I'm practicing for maybe 15 minutes one day and then nothing for a day or so and then I'm doing an hour and then I'm missing a couple of days and then I'm doing another 15 minute slot because I'm feeling embarrassed that I haven't done my practice and because I do want to do it um, but it's, it's become very inconsistent. So what I've done is I have looked at my schedule and decided that at the moment, because I'm doing the photography in the evening, I'm trying to do half an hour practice in the morning before I start work, um, which gives me a half past seven start now. Um, but you know, that's just, uh, that's just the way that it is. This is what I'm going to need to do. I need to get some of that consistency back because I have noticed that without consistent practice, uh, you don't really take the steps forward. Even if it's just 10 or 15 minutes a day, um, that does make all the difference. One of the great things about this lesson is it was one of my, well, it was the first face-to-face -face, uh, lesson that I had with Michael since March, and it was very, very revealing. Although we'd been doing Skype sessions over a fairly blocky and so-so, but, you know, not really great connection, um, that, that's, it's been good because that has kept me practicing. It's it's enabled me to keep reviewing things with him on a week by week basis and he's been able to give me new exercises and things. Um, but it was very revealing because with my daughter upstairs where I normally practice, I spent more time practicing in here. And as you can see, I'm sitting very low, my knee is up. And when I was um, working with Michael in front of him, I'd actually got my right foot up on tiptoes to raise it up to the same sort of position where it would normally be. Uh, my posture, I've become hunched over. My thumb, um, he, Michael did pick this up on a couple of occasions, but my, my thumb was riding up over the top of the neck and really getting together was a real benefit because we've knocked quite a bit of that out of me. Uh, there was a talk about whether I practice standing up, um, but this gets in the way a little bit. Um, but I did uh, latch onto something just over the last 24 hours that I will share with you in a moment that has made a huge, huge difference. And it is gonna mean I'm gonna need to rejig the camera. Um, so actually let's just get in and rejig the camera and I'll, I'll do the rest of this with the guitar. Okay, so the big change was to move to my guitar stool. Uh, I've brought that down into the conservatory for this video from my workroom. And regardless of whether I'm practicing my workroom, in the conservatory, in the front, wherever I'm practicing, I'm using the guitar stool now. And that's giving me a consistent seating position. Now, I am still hunching over. That just is my natural way. My posture is terrible. So I am having to just get used to sitting upright um, when I'm when I'm eating, when I'm working, when I'm watching television. In the same way that I'm often doing my stretching exercises on my fingers, uh, I am trying to sit up more and also when I'm walking I'm trying to walk taller. Um, posture is a massive, massive thing when playing the guitar. 
So one of the things we did, we spoke about REM and I really just need to continue to work on finger placement. One of the other things that I have done over lockdown, uh, I already mentioned is that, that my thumb is coming up over the top of the neck and I need to keep it uh, more to the back. And also I have become very lazy with my little finger and also um, with uh, with my finger placement for the chords. So one of the things in my practicing, I've now gone back to doing my chord changes as well, my um, perfect chords and the quick chord changes over a minute, just to remember to get the feel and get the muscle memory um, because of bad habits is something that Michael picked me up on. Um, and uh, the main thing when I'm doing this is just posture and thumb. So we'll just try playing through the REM Everybody Hurts sequence. <laughs> So I still need to do a little bit of work. It's, it's very, very hot in the conservatory right now, which is not helping. Uh, I tend to prefer to play when I'm cooler, um, but I just wanted to, to get this video done um, over my lunch break. But definitely it's coming along. Uh, I was watching a video from somebody that I follow online who was talking about the muscle memory and just not even having to think about what comes next. I haven't experienced that yet and I probably played the um, D to G too many times there. And I think that that is because I don't play this every single day like I really, really need to be. Um, but I'm finding that the seating position with my back more straight and with my uh, thumb around the back of the neck, as Michael picked me up on, is, is definitely paying dividends even over the last um, basically 20, 25 minutes uh, since I had my lesson. So we also spoke about the um, pentatonic scale. So. not too bad I still need to work on it a lot but again some bad habits have creeped in uh, my thumb is with my hand my thumb is over this side of my fingers rather than more in line with my middle finger on the back of the neck again something that was very difficult for Mike to see on Skype but immediately as soon as we get face to face he picked up on that so again thumb placement is key and the other thing as well is that um, particularly on the low E string, my little finger in particular I'm laying down rather than getting it curled around and on the fingertip. Um, so one of the things that I'm going to start to do is to introduce a slightly different um, little practice routine where I am just playing two fingers at a time and I'm keeping my fingers closer to the string and I may well do another video on this. And the main reason for that, and you're not going to be able to see it on this camera setup, 
But when I'm playing with my little finger, instead of my little finger coming off a very small amount, I'm actually bringing it off quite a bit as I'm playing and there's a lot of movement in my hand that is unnecessary. So that's one of the things, again, that Michael picked up on by looking at a different angle from the Skype view is that, uh, yeah, I've got an unusual amount or an unnecessary amount of movement in my hand, particularly with my little finger. So I have got a little exercise for that, which I've only just started to look at. Uh, and as I said, I may well do a video on that if I find that that is paying dividends. So then to finish up with, uh, we had a little look at the uh, 12 bar blues. And if you remember, I was having trouble with the muting, but that has come along a lot, lot better. So let's just have a little look at that. So I still need to do a little bit of work on that, um, but considering that this is only really two weeks in, practicing it properly rather than this silly hand movement that I had uh, the first time I was trying to play it, uh, much, 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 much better. And one of the things that Michael now wants me to do is, rather than having my hand fixed onto the strings, so I'm getting that sort of sound, um, what he wants me to do is to, to do that, but also just to vary the pressure on the strings. So sometimes you just get the muted sound, and other times we are actually getting the E string or the A string or the D string, depending on which um, chord, power chord we're playing. Uh, we just get that note to ring out, which gives some variance to the way that that actually sounds. So that's going to be my homework for lesson 28. It's going to be to vary the pressure on the strings, to try and build the strength in my little finger and in my hand doing the scales. And he has given me an additional scale, which I haven't practiced yet, I need to. Um, an additional scale so that I'm practicing on keeping my fingers more close to the string with less hand movement, more relaxed in my arm and my wrist, thumb in the right place, and an REM, just keeping the guitar upright, posture, and thumb around the back, and just enjoying playing the REM track. So quite a lot of additional things to practice following this lesson, um, but that was it. First face-to-face -face lesson in far, far, far too long, it was way, way worth it. Really, really worth getting over to see him and doing face to face. And I'm hoping that that's going to continue for the foreseeable future. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And if you have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps. And please comment. I really do get a lot of incentive and a lot of encouragement from the comments that people put on the channel and I do try and respond to all of them and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up and hit the bell button for notifications of more videos coming soon. Anyway thank you very much for watching, take care, stay safe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.